Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are talking about rendering. Rendering is one of those parts in CG that takes a lot of time. Now, if you've actually tried rendering something before, you know how intensive it gets, especially when you have to wait hours and hours on end. And this is actually one of the things that made a lot of people switch cheap to Blender. Owing to the fact that Eevee came in and it's now something that you can easily work with. Today, we are looking at an amazing, amazing tool that would save you that time as well but this time you have to do this in Maya so we've seen an implementation of this several years ago Maya had something like this and I don't know if it was deprecated or if they just simply stopped development but it's also interesting to see that there was an implementation of this particular set of cool stuff in 3d studio max but today we are looking at more like a collaborative workflow something that would save you time and get you instant rendering directly in Maya. And we're talking about no other tool than Miro. Miro is an amazing tool made by the folks at Bitwell. These guys are amazing. They made this tool so you can easily move your files from any part of Maya and get cool rendering with the ability of Unreal Engine. So in case you want to do some quick shading, some cloth simulation, or maybe you want to render your animation with the speed of light, you can now easily do this. Now, how does this work? How do you get this? How do you try it? These are the things that we're going to cover in today's video. So simply stick around for that. And for those who would want to test this, link is going to be in the description where you can grab a free copy. And it's just very interesting to see that all you need to get started with are all free. You can get a free copy of Maya. You can get a free copy of Unreal Engine and also a free copy of, of this plugin which you can work with so once you download this all you need to do is install it go over to unreal engine go over to the plugin section and then within the plugin section you need to find the v12 mirror now once you find that you need to turn it on restart unreal engine jump over to Maya and in Maya you need to install this as well by going over to window go over to settings slash preference within your settings slash preference section you need to go over to the plugin manager within the plugin manager also make sure that you get to find mirror and turn this on you need to turn this on auto setup and all that stuff you need to make sure they are turned on now once you turn them on you would notice that we have a menu and also a shelf now this is where your rendering sending back and forth all of those beautiful things happen so with all this things set we are ready to go so what do we do right here where we have uh you know a status scene in unreal engine we can now easily move these from here now the beautiful thing is you can simply move everything so if you have like materials you have stuff you can move them from here over to maya so with this here if we jump over to maya all we need to do is go over to the render section and switch this to mirror now for the most part those who would want to just have you know a very simple scene you don't want to have all of these things there whatever you delete in unreal engine automatically deletes here the same thing happens if you choose to throw in let's say a simple cube like we have right here so let's go ahead and grab that all the way up and one of the things to also keep in mind is by default the scene unit that you work with directly here in Maya is centimeters but if you want to get the most out of these things you will need to switch this over to meters or something like that so to get that one happening all you need to do is go over to windows go over to preference and right here within preference we're going to go over to the settings and switch this from centimeters to meter now once we do this and click on save we can now easily click on the cube and you notice that we have a cube right here so you want to do some texturing you want to do all of those things you can easily do this right here in Maya and they will replicate over to Unreal Engine and you can also you know get the most out of it so right here in Unreal Engine you can still see that so just in case you're looking for something that is going to give you the best of both worlds you now have these things here if I want to get rid of this chair and I delete this and possibly let's say I want to also interact with certain objects that exist in unreal engine i can also do those so if i select these as well move this over to a part and maybe select these and move this over to a part of course you know you have to rebake your lights once you're working back and forth with unreal engine if you switch over to maya you would notice that these things are here now most people would want this as a simple tool for doing their rendering so of course it makes a lot of sense that this would work in that way and if you're into maya and you want to do maybe you want to do some motion graphic stuff you can also do this so this is also supposed for things that has to do with animation so if you would like to animate your stuff directly in here 
or maybe you would like to do a simple rendering and you want to use this as the viewport of choice to render you can easily render right here now once you register your tool you would not be able to see this powered by Miro, and you can also choose to go ahead and take a look at the description and also read more about the stuff that they have on the website so if you go over to the Miro tab there are certain stuff that you can get meanwhile once you install that preference we already talked about the fact that there's a mirror tool so you can also go over to the render setting and set the render setting how you like you can also notice that the render setting that you'll be getting here is directly in relation with the render setting that you have coming from unreal engine so if you switch this over and you choose to select any of these render settings what would happen is you're getting the direct render settings coming from unreal engine into maya so this just makes perfect sense so let's say we want to try out some very cool stuff i'm going to select this cube one more time and then we'll go over to let's try something cool let's go over to mash and throw in the mash waiter and let's see what we have with the mash waiter and probably another thing which we would like to do is go over to where we have the attributes and we can choose to do some replicators we can choose to do you know some stuff let's also try out some things so if we also select this and switch this to grid by default you notice we have this grid let's jump back to unreal engine because you know we don't like all this boring stuff let's select that delete select delete select delete delete and actually let's come back select this one delete and also delete okay let's switch over to maya so right here in maya you can see we have some cool real-time stuff all right so we can select this object as it is and then or you know we can select the mash and then we can do some some cool stuff maybe we want to throw in that signal node want to press the playback button real time real time it's happening here you can transfer this over to you know unreal engine and have this simulating in real time as well so with a brand new scene here and with both apps loaded side by side how we can work with this is very simple so in this case what we're looking at is how we can play with the material so for example let's say we have some amazing materials which we always have in unreal engine and we want those materials to be here in maya or maybe you want to do some shading and you love those materials that comes with unreal engine and you want to bring them over to maya these things are very very easy so with maya here if we hold down you know shift and right click we can bring out the sphere and let's grab that sphere right here select this sphere and let's make sure we have that bring that down and hold on shift to drag to make a copy now once we have this copy right here where you have you know the shelf for the mirror tool if we click on this big ball button it's going to open up a new box now within this you'll notice that we have all of the materials that exist with the starter content so how do you assign materials how you assign materials is super simple because once you select this and then you click right click and click on create new shading group and assign if you try this the first time it probably might not work so you have to try it like a couple of times so you can select that right click and do the same thing and now you see it happens so let's do that for here as well so i'm going to do the same thing and you can see that that simply applies so you can see this very lovely stuff and what about editing if you want to edit this it's very very easy select the object go over to your hyper shade which you can access by going over to windows go all the way down to rendering go over to hyper shade and at this point let's bring that right about here so at this point you can plug in the input and the output select the shader and you can start making some changes and of course you can also go over to the extra attributes and see attributes that are driving or the present attribute that is driving this particular material so depending on how you want to get things started you can easily apply materials from unreal engine over to your objects that exist in maya now it even becomes more interesting when you have some assets in unreal engine and you want to use those assets to augment and build some very cool stuff in maya how do you do that if you click on this plus button here you know within the shelf you would also notice that we have another list dialog box that exists so what do we do with this one this is where all of the assets that exist in unreal engine the present project file they're working with this is where they come in handy so for this one let's say we want to grab this rock if you click you can right click and create new unreal engine node so once you click on that you notice we have that so let's say you're doing some set dressing and you want to really do this you know quickly 
right here in Maya, you can go in and make those changes and you can rotate this however you want. You can choose to edit this and start getting some cool stuff. So for those who would also want to do some simulation, probably you're wondering, what about simulation? Does it support simulation and how can you work with simulation? Yes, it does. And yes, you can. So I'm just going to bring in a simple plane like so. And let's just make sure that we have this plane right here. Select this object, go over to end clot and make this a passive collider. Select this, go over to end clot and make this an end clot object. So once we jump over to let's go ahead and take a look. Once we jump over to FX and let's click down and press the interactive playback button. We can now simply use this and change however, or, you know, and make changes to this. So this even makes more sense owing to the fact that with Unreal Engine right here and all of the lighting and rendering capabilities that it has, you can now easily get some real time rendering directly out of your Maya viewport. So for those who would want to also do things like, you know, particle effects, this is also interesting because the particle effect applies. And for those who would like to play with things that has to do with simulation, of course, you can also choose to do all of these things and get some interesting results out of it. And that's definitely going to be about it. For those who want to transfer their rigs, their models, maybe you want to do some camera works or some lighting works, some deformation, or maybe some simulation from Maya, and you want to get that real-time rendering feedback from Unreal Engine, you are now able to do this directly with your Maya viewport. And this is going to come in very, very handy for lots and lots of people if you want to do quick play blast, or maybe you want to easily and quickly showcase something that you're working on. Now, if you want to take a look at the tutorials, you want to contact these guys because of the watermark okay so if you contact them they're going to take out the watermark and if you want to register this this is totally for free so you can grab this and start working with it so this is more like it and of course if you want to get some free unreal assets we've covered a lot and lots of tools and stuff that is free from the folks at epic games so link is going to be in the description that'll take you over to the marketplace where you can find free assets and free contents that you can work with and for those that are looking for free models you can also go over to the link in the description and you see an entire playlist dedicated to free friday stuff that you can grab for free and of course i would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section and don't forget to join the discord and also join the conversation right there and if you have any tool or any amazing stuff software you'd like us to talk about please suggest that on the discord as that is where the party is happening tell me what you guys think about this one and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace